I'm Paul Spatter for the former IVF 135-pound champion of the world from the Keys Ross, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, PA. My dad used to tell me all the time that he would see you whenever he was coming out in the morning after the bar shut down. He would see you running around the block and training. Is that how you met my dad, or did you meet my dad by being a customer? I met, I met, met? I met him by being a customer. Like I, I came in there the first time, and it was, they, I used to only get one thing there. Everything there was really good, but I would get um, stuffed hot peppers. You know what I mean? I get stuffed hot peppers and a side of, sal a side of salad. That's what I would get. Because I'd always be making weight, you know what I mean? But it was so good that, so I, I would go there probably as much as I can. I, of course, when I didn't have money, I couldn't go there all the time. But when I, when I, when I, whenever I won the title, I could go there like once a week, twice a week. Oh, perfect. You know what I mean? So did you celebrate your matches at the Prima Donna? Yeah, every one of them. Every one of them? Yeah. So what was your, what would like be your I celebratory come, I, would, I say I would come in there with like about 10, 15 people, you know what I mean? And, and Mrs. DeMichael was working there, so I, I, I'd always want to like hook her up. <laughs> he would look out like whenever you didn't have it, he would still look out and get it to you, you know what I mean? Like if you're, if you're a loyal customer, you come there all the time, say you might not have, say the bill might be like, What's up, bro? Say the bill might be like a hundred some dollars. Say I might not have an extra twenty, but I always got a lot from my the, to the tip. He'll he'll look out. He know I'll be back. Why do you think this would be an interesting story? I mean, I would definitely say. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a it's a, uh, it's a rugged town. You know what I mean? And it's the blue collar town and a guy that like looks out for everybody and, look, and wants to look out for. For everybody, like, and he's gonna always treat you the right way, the way you want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? That's hard to be. That's hard for people to come into someone's place and be treated the same as you treat the same person. It's gonna be nothing but love there. You know what I mean? So who wouldn't want to come? It doesn't surprise me that, that, that nothing that, that they're making of this and that. You know what I mean? It would not surprise me. Like, it would surprise me if they did.